This video is about how to uh, add some um, customer uh, columns into an Angular table. Um, so uh, I had a lot of problems on that point and as you see now this works. So I have here a regular table in Angular material and uh, as soon as I click or hover above the um, this link you will see this uh, small um, the the anchor in the uh, here in the left corner. So uh, I've written how I may uh, extend this table. This you will see the link afterwards. And now first I show how it works. Um, so normally when you create an Angular table, you have I'm move this table now away. Uh, you do it the following way. First, you have your application, and you, uh, you in your application you will uh, add the table uh, Angular Material by uh, by ng add here in the uh, terminal uh, ng add, and don't don't do it with the install. Uh, always use the ng add uh, material, and then you have also the style in there, um, and then uh, here in my table. Uh, in my TypeScript, in my code behind file, um, I inserted here my uh, mat table data source, and uh, there was nothing else uh, in this point. This was not the most important stuff. But what you have to do is you define the columns in which which you need there. Uh, so you say here display column, and then this is a default. Uh, this is simply those columns which uh, where the software goes in the front end, uh, project detail and so on. And you also have to add this uh, customer columns. So in here, I don't have the field. Uh, it's just simply the field, uh, the table, uh, the column, which is in there. So it, this is edit and the other one is uh, delete. And, um, and then you have to get a data source, a data source, data source is here new source which I where I get my results for my uh, HTML API web API so this is uh, results that you see here uh, it's simple uh, I get these results for my web uh, connection and these are record sets in there of a type here type record sets so this is an interface of the structure um, what you have to look for is when you when you have an API uh, and, you, and you check your API, you will get uh, these values in a, a case sensitive. So this is ID time record with a capital R, for example, or here with a capital G. These values come from my web API. And in my structure, I also have to do it in the same way. Uh, please keep this capital sensitive. So. When, there, when the results come with a capital R, so also use a capital R. And uh, otherwise you will get always problems on your uh, on the results. Now I jump back to my code behind file. So I have here my columns and then I have my uh, data source. And in my columns, my manual co uh, columns, my additional two ones also have to be added in the display column. And then at the output, I simply uh, follow the way. This is always what we, what you find uh, in all tutorials. There's a table, and it's of type mat table. So mat table means uh, if you have installed the material, then this uh, this small property here says, okay, I display it as a material table. So it's not simply table from the HTML. It's uh, the table uh, in here. So this one, uh, that's the table. It looks like this one. And uh, and then um, Angular goes through it and says, okay, now when you have the uh, data source, then this is the data source, which is in code behind. So this is the data source. And then we have um, something class, how it does, how does it look like? And so material sort, and this is not, this is not important. Uh, only if you use sorting for this and then you have uh, now we come to that point a regular column which you see there these ones with a uh, bound 
um, data are always ng container and then here's the column description so this is uh, the column which uh, refers to the first one if you use here a project you also have to you have to have one column one uh, ng container with this material uh, column definition if you lose this one if you uh, type have your type error for example and refresh it then you will see it's empty after this so uh, keep care that whenever you have a column on the front uh, on the code behind when you define one here you should also have one column in here so this is important because otherwise it's not rendering and then this is the header so you also also have here mat uh, dash header dash cell and this is the header which is written here on the top simply type in there it's quite simple uh, it's the top and um, and you may write whatever you want into there I'm not sure if uh, what this is uh, for mat header uh, cell definition uh, oh let's let's try it what what happens if we don't do it so control if we throw it out then we have no result that's what we see there control set so we come here again so now you see it's back again you need it that's quite simple to uh, to, to say you need this one this is uh, obligatory you have to say it you have to say it said this one this one and this one um, and then you have the material cell so this is the inner cell in there that's also you also have to say here's the material material cell def and now you have the let element let element means this is my uh, local uh, data set my row this is my data set row and from this row when I type this equals let element, then I'm able to write uh, these curly brackets, which uh, which catch the element from this element here. Those elements are uh, these two are connected uh, from there. The project. So the project is in my case um, where did I have it from my data model here. This is my project, and also keep care that it's capitals case sensitive. So this is if right project with a small uh, letters, and then now we come to the um, to the manual customer of, uh, columns. And the customer columns, um, like this one, I also have to take here. This is the I have to define. There is a column which is called edit, and I I have to say there is a material uh, header cell definition. Um, for this stuff if you don't have those two stuffs then uh, it's not uh, it can't render and then you have to say uh, here this uh, give me a local uh, element a element or a row like this for my loop variable and then you may write in there whatever you want so in this case i said okay relative to my path i make a a, a href this is html it's classical html and then inside there's my address and inside the address i uh, i am adding here my uh, my, my uh, angular value which is in runtime there uh, previously i tried to connect it like a string in here but this uh, didn't work so you have to write it inside because it's rendering at uh, runtime uh, that value uh, and the same is for this one and when you have done this you will have now uh, where is it I, I always lose it um, there it is here it comes again now I have these two uh, HTML columns in there where my result is whatever I do inside this uh, for example an image or something like this and uh, as always I will give you my code page the code for this one uh, is on my on my website and I make a link below there uh, this uh, code doku I always have the link on there sometimes my website is a bit slow 
now you have it there and you see the code is there here's the display display column the data source and then you have here the delete delete and edit column uh, and there's the only take the inside that's the, that's what you see and i explained this uh, because uh, i had a lot of trouble today to get this running and it was quite simple that i tried to uh, take this uh, columns outside so uh, and as soon as uh, as far as you see this is running uh, because this is now real time um, yeah and if you liked it make a thumb up